Hey, what's going on guys? 118 Shadow here. So, we got a few new promo announcements from Bushiroad today. The main ones in particular regarding set 8 and counter cards. We're getting new promos to support Minerva, Lukier, and Maelstrom. So, with that in mind, I just want to take a quick look at where these cards are at right now. Well, we already talked about Minerva from before, so not as much to cover here, but there are still an enormous amount of listings on the triple rare side, 40 of them altogether, and they're starting at about $8 right now. Ultimately, Minerva has been the most popular of the three encounters from this set, and it has had the hardest fall off ever since. Then you have Lukier, who is currently sitting around $4 and its market price is close to $4.50, but it's got 38 listings overall, so pretty comparable to Minerva. If you're looking for the secret rare of this one, that one has dropped off quite a bit. We have one listing for $185 and its market price is $363. If you want the FFR, that one's also quite a hefty drop off from its market price. It's $45 listed to $95 from market price and nine listings overall. Let's see how history has been on these sales. Last one to sell was close to 200 and then 280, 329 going backwards basically. But we have a few listings at 185 and one of them actually has three copies, so you could almost fill out your play set with just one buy there. Then let's take a look at Maelstrom, who has notoriously been the cheapest of the three, but its triple rare is higher than it used to be. Well, not by much, to be honest. We're looking at $2 to 3 or actually it's $3 basically, but you had times where you could purchase it for 2 or under. Even so, it's still cheap to pick up, and the remaining support for it is not likely to be much more expensive at this point. As for the other rarities, the FFR is under $50 at this point. We're looking at $38 for the low, and then the secret rare is $55 low right now. So, if you are a fan, that's not too bad of a price for the secret rare given that it is a hard pull and if there are cross rides coming in encounters for maelstrom and lukier i imagine the originals will end up going up in value but we'll see where that ends up going shoto doji this card has been long forgotten by the community in general and is a pretty decent budget deck as long as you're not playing Forktail, but you can pick up its grade 3 at 25 cents minimum right now. Let's see how many are actually available for 25 cents. Not very many, unless we get to the... Yeah, actually this card is a $1 card. There's only one 25 cent listing, and I think there was only one copy? Yeah, there's only one copy on that one, too. So yeah, Shoto Doji is more of a $1 card, closer to its market price of $0.90. Cents. And if you want the FFR for this one, there is a listing under $30, but then it's basically $30 to $35 to pick up any FFRs of this one. When it comes to Shoto Doji and Arkite, with set 11 coming up, I wouldn't be too surprised if they got a little more support in those, given they are related to some of the glitter cards but then there are the encounters so I'm not sure if there will be enough room to fit additional support for those when all the glitters are getting new overall right grade threes bear toy the draw trigger for lyrical melody has run low on quantities uh, for the for the rare I mean, this one just goes in and out in terms of values. I mean, it was selling at just over $16 a little while ago, and there's only the one listing at $10 right now. Then you go back to $17.50 and $20 on this one, so only three listings altogether. It's just going, going, gone again here. The SP has six listings starting at 55 
And there are only three listings available of the LSR starting at 215, which is still above its market price. Another one is La Plume, Next Step La Plume, who is also from Lyrical Set 2. But I should note that the base prices available for the SP and the double R are now very comparable. There are four listings left on the double R starting at about $8, and the SP has a low listing of $8.50, basically. And yeah, there are still a few listings on the SP that are under $10 at this point, so if you are picking up La Plume, I don't know why the double R has been running low on quantities like this, but you might as well pick up the SP in this case, given that this one... Oh, nobody has actually bought anything above $5 on this one. But even then, I would still say the SP is probably the better buy, given that it's only a $3 discrepancy there. But when we go to Festival Collection, we've talked about how the Trigger SPs have been going high in value. Looks like some of the other ride line cards are also starting to increase, like Diablo's Bad Steve. There are only three listings of this card left, and recent sales have been $12 to $22, and we have only $15, $16 to $29 left. So that one is going, going, gone now, as well as Diablo's Anger Richard, the grade two of the ride line. This one's not nearly as expensive right now, but we still only have five listings. They have sold for 10 and 7, and once we lose this listing of $10 with 5 copies, it actually stays above $10 at about 13 to 25 Yeah, the ride line is starting to pick up, likely with Viamont's Bruce, and also, there's also that structure deck that's going to be coming out in October with that one grade three whose name I keep forgetting, where this ride line does tend to see play in that deck as well. Blaze Made in Parama is starting to see more sales and is running out of quantities. This is the front trigger for Dragon Empire from set two. There are only four listings left of the original rare starting at 325, and the hollow foil is almost $5 with six listings to go. We talked about how the SP finally managed to break out a little while ago. Its low is now $59. Uh, what are we looking at on sales? Last one, the only one in the only one in April was $58, but before that I did sell for 60 and 49. And then of course you've got the special reprint which only has two listings as well, but that is above $6 too. Steam Scar of Zargon from set 9 has dropped off. This was about $3 on release for its base rare, but now it's available for about a dollar. And then the FR has also dropped off pretty significantly, where you can pick it up for $4 right now. And there are only a few $4 ones before it goes to 5 so... Yeah, I would say that's pretty good. Zargon is a generic Soul Charge support, though it's not truly Soul Charge. Still, it's a good card overall, so I welcome the lower prices. Blitzy Oelstra is going up in value too. We have nine listings left for the Triple R, starting at $21.50, and the FFR has some listings back on the market, but they're starting over $200. Oh, uh, man, I wish I had picked this thing up when it was way cheaper than that, but, yep, you don't win them all. Either way, Wellstra is looking to be a decent competitive option when it comes to tournament play, and on top of that, it is a pretty fun deck, aside from the fact that you may just whiff on your assault carrier checks with Uber, like I do all the time, so my playstyle involves never having to do that now. Valkyrie Performer has also been dropping further in value. We're looking at $20 low for the double R now, and listings have been selling a bit consistently at that $20 rate. We're still at a few $25 copies, but 
12 listings overall, it's, it's more available than it was before. And there are 10 listings left of the FR starting at $25, and there are a few available there before it goes back to $30. Falcate is a, another generic soul charge like Zargon, where it's not truly a soul charge. But as we continue to get more and more of these generic soul charge options, we should see overall decreases in some of the ones that are not played as heavily. Tier Knight Aryx, which is Flagberg support, has been running out of quantities for both the FR and the double R, and the prices are not too far off from each other. We're looking at about 4 or $5 when it comes to the double R right now. There are a few quantities, but listings are down to 4 though listings have been bought out at $150 to $2. So I'm not sure. If, I don't think this can actually sell much higher than that, especially when you consider that Flagberg has kind of fallen off. But let's see. What about the FR? This one has been selling for $6, and there are only three listings, three copies. So if you're looking to Max Rarity Flagberg, this is about to go. Lutetia has been dropping off in value, but it's more like it's been seeing a few additional lists. To oh, actually, we... Oh, wait, that's lightly played. Okay, never mind. So we have a lightly played set... 11 a piece and then we've got $15 for a few copies before it goes all the way back up to 20 ish and in terms of listings we've got 16 so there are a good amount to choose from when it comes to the triple rare the FFR has some lower listings from the $90 mark that we saw last time but it hasn't sold all month and we're looking at 60s for the latest sales when it comes to the LSR, let's see. Ooh, this thing hasn't sold since January. <laughs> 645 was the last sell, and it's still at 580. And I guess it's just not catching attention like it used to. Yep, that's where Lutetia stands at this point. Then I want to talk about Perfect Guards from Set 6, particularly the FRs, as we're seeing price increases around the board for this one. Zeal Dragon is still the most expensive, 6 listings starting at $17. Planet Wall Dragon is next at about $13, also 6 listings. Then you've got Repelled Malice Dragon for 7 listings and $11. Custodial Dragon, 4 listings, $10. And then the cheapest of them all is actually Dragon Empire. Sparkle Rejector Dragon at $4, 15 listings. So nobody seems to like Sparkle Rejector, which I'm curious about that. Let's take a look. 4, 4, 6, 5, 7. Yeah, this one has a fair amount of cheaper listings in comparison to the others, so it's a decent buy, I guess. And then Desired Devil Dofun was going to wrap up the day. This is Greed on Support from Festival Collection 2022. Last time we had covered this card, it was pretty high up in price and low on listings due to some tops it was having during the BCS regionals. But it's got a lot more quantities on the market now and prices have dropped off, but it is still over $7 to pick up for the Triple Rare and then the SP is almost $30. We are getting some more Greed on support in set 10, and then Greed on himself will be getting a mask in set 11, so I'd keep your eye on this card, as well as any other support needed when it comes to Greed on. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys later.